Does it work? Ah, okay. So, uh, so I gave uh, the uh, definition of the Kuro spectrum of it's the equivalent of homology of a certain space. So now I give a classical description. So our approach is very different from the physicist's approach. So physicists start with classical description and then try to quantize. But we, I just start with quantization and go to the classical limit. <coughs> So the statement is like this. So MC is birational to T cross T check, T check cross T divided by wire group. So T is maximum compact subgroup. Maximal torus, sorry. And T is its real algebra. And T, T check is dual torus. <coughs> and what double is wild group. So this right hand side is usually called classical description in <coughs> physics literature. So here's a proof, sketch of proof. So we first note that uh, equivalent homology for group G is the just equivalent homology of the tolas for the same space and take the wild group invariant part. There's natural action of wild group on, on the space induced from the group action, and they take invariant part. So this is a, some, some general result for, this is a general result. equivalent homology. For any G space, and if you consider G equivalent homology, it is wild group invariant of the equivalent homology for torus. <coughs> then you apply next, you next apply localization theorem. equivalent homology. So this is also very well known uh, result in equivalent homology. So it goes back to the Abbott and Berlin Berlin and others. <coughs> so what does it say? So you consider that torus equivalent homology group. So this is a module over the equivalent homology of maybe T O point, but this is Maybe I mentioned sometimes this is the same as equivalent homology, just constant loops. <coughs> and then you tensor this fractional field of this. <coughs> and on the other hand, you consider the equivalent homology of the fixed point. And similarly, you consider. Well, but this is, since torus act trivially, so this is uh, the, the, the equivalent, same as the, the ordinary homology. But so anyway, you just. <coughs> then you have the inclusion homomorphism. Uh, homomorphism induced from the inclusion of the fixed one. Then uh, this becomes isomorphism if you tensor this fraction of you. So then, uh, this whole, what is this? I mean, you must also sh need to check that this multiplication for here and the multiplication, multiplication for here and the multiplication for here is compatible. But after checking also, But after checking this statement and taking the spectrum, so it means that the spectrum, spectrum of this is the wild group quotient of spectrum of this. 
which is bi-rational to spectrum of this. <coughs> so then you just need to understand what is the T fixed point. So you, I, I think you will see it if I describe the fixed point. So R, R is a modular space. of flamed uh, bundles, G bundles, plus section. So P and S and phi, such that phi of, phi, phi is the trivialization of P at over the punctual disk. So the require one, you require one condition if you send the section S to by phi, then this is regular. So this is a condition. <coughs> and you consider the T fixed point. And if you are familiar with the uh, modular space of torsion free ships on the uh, surface, uh, frame, framed ships, then you, see, you, see, you, you uh, look at the similar fixed point. And first of all, our, so the, the T, T is coming from the chain change of framing phi. Then uh, T fixed point means that this P, 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 P is T bundle. Or well, maybe if G is a general linear group, we consider the vector bundle. And the T bundle means that it is decomposing to direct sum of vector bundle, a uh, line bundle, sorry. And S. S is section, so section of. Now the section has value in N, and instead of N, we take fixed point in, in fixed point with respect to T, and T value the section. And the five, five, five is just, now this is, it is, trivialization of T fixed <coughs> So this is the description fixed point. So it means this RT is nothing but uh, R for, so G is replaced by T and representation N is replaced by N of T. So in this case, the Valai fixed point is nothing but a special case, special case of our construction. So group is replaced by, by torus and representation replaced by t, t, t fixed point. But this NT, because of the definition, so NT is a trivial representation. So you remember the, the com, our computation. Uh, so I give example, example one or two. And the example one, g equal t and n equal zero. And the g equal t, not t, g is c star, g equal c star, and n equal c. And uh, uh, so this, the first one is just the product of c and c star. And the sec in the second example, we get to c, c2. And the non trivial uh, com com multiplication appears because, uh, so you consider. So, so the, in this case, uh, some, some, you get prime R1 and prime R minus 1 is equal to W. And this, this appears because this, this condition, uh, so maybe I, I denote, I draw, draw this picture. So you have here 
n equals 0, O and n equals 1, and O and from here you have some different fibers. And uh, that was the reason why we get this W. And, but if this is trivial representation, so this condition is automatic always. So it means you can forget you can forget this trivial representation. So uh, Coulomb branch MC for G equal torus and N equal LT. Maybe I, I should not equal. So I replace this. Then this is just uh, I have T T check and D algebra T. So this T is equivalent homology of point spectrum of this, and this is just uh, pi, pi, yeah, this, this, this is the same as the, the expansion. A fine glass margin, this is comes. So Zn something, n is the rank of t, maybe. So this is the proof. I think this is interesting. I mean, the proof is very simple, and, but somehow it is interesting that this classical picture, classical description of, of the Coulomb branch appears as application of the fixed point. <laughs> fixed point. Hmm? Action of wire group, I mean, this is a standard. You, you, you also need to check. Stand, standard while group action on this torus. So diagonal action on this. Okay, so then I slightly uh, define this, 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 uh, oh, maybe, yeah. Slightly define the, the, the the concept which appears implicit in here. So uh, I have equivalent homology of point. So this is H star. And this, there is algebra homomorphism. So this is, if you have a function here, then you just send it to multiplication to the unit. So unit is, by the way, the five, five, five of the, the unit element in the affine glass manual. <clears throat> then take a spectrum. So you have MC, so I denote this by pi. And I have a spectrum. It's down point. And this is, as I said, spectrum of it's down point divided by y, w, and this is t mod w. But it is also known that this is a reflection group, and this this is just a vector space. And this homomorphism, this survives in quantization. So, namely, H star of G cross C star on point is send it to H star.
And it, so this is quantization, quantized Coulomb branch. And this is commutative. This is algebra homomorphism. So this is commutative. So uh, maybe I didn't mention, uh, yeah, I think I, I explained in, 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 in the example. So this is a non-commutative algebra, and this is commutative. So this, uh, in fact, this is, this is injective, and this is a commutative subalgebra. So uh, it means if you compute uh, Poisson bracket for, for this kind of function, so if so you just put back these two functions and they compute a Poisson bracket. But the Poisson bracket is came, came, came from the commuted, first you lift to the non-commutative algebra and take commutator and divide by h bar and send h bar to be zero. That was the definition. But here, uh, f and g is just automatically lifted in here and send it here. But that is commutative, as I said, yes, so this is commutative, so this is just zero. So it means any function factors through here are uh, Poisson commuting. So in this, and also by this observation, which I just, I'm erasing. Yeah, maybe I write a diagram. So I have MC and by pi. So I have T divided by W, which is C of L, and I have T cross T check divided by wire group, and I said this is birational. And this birational morphism is just given by equivalent localization of equivalent homology. So this, this is a commutative diagram. This, this line is fast projection. So in order to study the fiber, genetic fiber, so you just switch to here. So this is dual torus. So this means Mapai is a completely integrable system. of new persons so you have symplectic yeah maybe i didn't mention this is symplectic variety at least regular locus is symplectic so this is symplectic and you have vector space to half dimension and uh Poisson commuting in the sense like this. Or maybe just you, you just take uh, coordinate entries, co the, the entries of these uh, vectors, and you take commutator that vanishes. Then uh, another is uh, generic fibers. Well, I mean, usually when people consider intervention, usually they assume the generic fiber is compact to us, but this is algebraic one. So. or maybe com complex algebraic one. So in this sense, this is integrable system. <coughs> and uh, maybe just a remark. Yeah, in fact, so this construction, this construction works for K3 version. And I asked several people whether yeah, this integral, no, people noticed this integral. But it seems it was an unknown. So maybe I'm a little bit confused why it was not unknown. But so anyway, so from MC of K, so this is spectrum of K theory of G. <coughs> 
Then, uh, so corresponding target space is spectrum of equivalent K theory of zero point. Then this is uh, so similar to the equivalent homological point. This is also well known. So this is just T divided by one. And similarly, this is uh, algebraically, algebraic, completely. So as I said, the, this MCK is something similar to Hitching, modular space of Hitching, uh, uh, Higgs bundle which Hitching, Hitching considers. But this, this is, is very different. From Hitching system, Hitching integral system. So Hitching integrable system exists only for the specific complex structure which we, we missed. And uh, so it's defined for this source, and source, source pole and north pole. And also the uh, target space is vector space. So the integrable system is just given by the character polynomial coefficient of character polynomial of the Higgs field. So this is vector space. And also the generic fiber. This is Abelian variety. So in this sense, of course, this, this integrable system, system should be much, much more interesting than the, our integration. This seems to be much more elementary integrable system because fiber, fiber is just algebraic torus and there is, I mean, complex structure is fixed. But here, a variant variety changes the complex structure. This seems to be much more interesting, but still uh, you see this existence. And it seems for character variety, you, you still have this, this kind of Well, what do you mean by similar? On the right, uh, like on the right, also by rational of the Hilbert scheme of the time C star. Yeah, that is true. Yes, yes. That is, in this case, so Hilbert of uh, C cross C star, then you just uh, project it to C. That is the integrable system, symmetric powers. So, so it is similar, yes, yes. And the Hilbert scheme, maybe I don't have time to explain how Hilbert scheme appears, but symmetric powers of N of C cross C star will appear as a Coulomb branch, particular Coulomb branch. And then you see that this is exactly, in this particular example, this is like an integral system. And on the left, it is like Hilbert scheme of C star times C star, or no? The In this case, symmetric powers of C star cross C star. <clears throat> okay, then uh, next I will explain Kuiper gauge theory. So Kuiper gauge. So so this so far this is it's we we just start with general group and the representation and definition is very general. But so I specialize to the case of the so-called Kuiper gauge theory. Then uh, somehow we have some better understanding of the Coulomb branch uh, compared with other cases. So I will, I'd like to mention what, what we know and also some conjecture. <coughs> so if you are familiar with the definition of quiver varieties, then quiver variety is a Higgs branch of quiver gauge theory. So you, the first starting point is very similar to the definition of quiver varieties. So Q0, Q1 is a quiver. So Q0 is a set of vertex and Q1 is a set of arrows. And I take two vector spaces, VW, finite dimensional, 
complex vector spaces Q0 graded. So uh, V is direct sum of VI and W is direct sum of WI. <coughs> then I take G to be product of GL of VI. And then is a space of frame equivalent representation. So that is just linear space from of H to H. So H runs in arrows. So you have VI, VJ. I and W J like this. <coughs> and as I mentioned that if you consider hyper here Higgs branch, which is N plus N star divided by G. So this is called Kuiper branch. I mean, sometimes you, you take uh, character of G and take G I D quotient, but I will not enter that story. So that is called Quibor. <coughs> so the uh, but the ma our uh, interested in, in Coulomb branch. So Coulomb, what is Coulomb branch? <coughs> the theorem one, so this is due to myself, uh, myself is Breva and Finke about, about. So suppose Q is type AD So AD in diagonal, finite AD in diagonal. Then I have corresponding uh, complex reductive group or semi simple, simple group. So I, I take a joint type. <coughs> the, the opposite of the simply connected one. Then uh, MC is isomorphic to moduli space of. So I'm I I I I'm cheating a little bit. So I, I will explain a little bit more more precise statement afterwards. Moduli space of GQ monopole on R3 with singularities. Singularity at zero. <coughs> and uh, type of singularity at zero is given by, I will not describe the, the, the detail of the distance. But <coughs> so, anyway, so this de de data is determined by those dimension vectors. And also, the so there's notion of so-called monopole charge. So this is determined by dimension VI. For, I mean, for I. <coughs> and this, this, this kind of result, uh, at least in, 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 in type A, uh, you can this, uh, derive this kind of result in a physical way, so using brains, so that is due to Hanani and Witten. And <coughs> I'm not sure about this uh, in the other case, but anyway, so this, this kind of statement is ex expected. <coughs> so monopole, monopole is uh, uh, some partial differential equation which is uh, given by the reduction of the instant equation by trans, uh, imposing translation in bias. <coughs> and uh, so this, in general, so we allow singularities at zero, so uh, 
there's so called Higgs field, Higgs field behave like R divided by R, R and something. And the type of the, the, this, this part is specialized by, uh, specified by the, the, the WI. <coughs> and for monopole charges, <coughs> so it is better to consider the case W equals zero. So if W equals zero, there's no singularity. Then uh, MC has an alternative description. So this is due to maybe, maybe this is monopole. Monopoles on R3. So this is due to Hitchin, Dranson, and others. Jarvis. <coughs> so this is uh, isomorphic to the space of based maps from P1 to flag variety. Full flag. And uh, this monopole charge is nothing but the degree of this. So second cohomology of flag variety is g, g to the n. So n, n is rank, which is just number of vertices of <coughs> quiver. So dimension of VI can be regarded as charge. And I say that I am cheating a little bit. In fact, we proved is uh, what we proved is MC is isomorphic to, to generalization of this description. And this this is known only for for, uh, for the case with without singularity. So <coughs> in that sense, I mean, this is not precise. Uh, thing which we proved. So anyway, so this is something te technical, and <coughs> we think this is true in general. Two. <coughs> so this is also. So we consider Jordan quiver. So this is you have only one agent, you have uh, one edge which connecting the vertex to itself. Then uh, we only consider two vector spaces, and we consider uh, n as n dimorphism v, v, and home of w and b, and g is gl. B. <coughs> then in this case, uh, and I assume this is dimension K, and this is dimension R. So Higgs branch is <coughs> uh, the modular space of rank R torsion free ships on P2, frame torsion free ships on P2 with C to K. But Coulomb branch is different. <coughs> so MC is so just as it explains sim symmetric powers of K symmetric powers of XR, where XR is the surface, XY is equal to W. So basically, uh, for n equal, if the v has dimension one, uh, 
uh, if dimension v is equal to one, then this is C star, and this is a uh, endomorphism of, of, of C that is a trivial representation of C star. So as I mentioned already, so for trivial you can ignore a trivial representation. Then you just consider this case. So the, then uh, it is uh, the same as example one and two. And one, one is the case R is equal to zero, and this is R positive. And I mentioned that R equals zero case, you get the C cross C star, and R positive case, C2, and simple uh, type A singularities we get. So this is a generalization. <coughs> Three, so this is joint work is Takayama. So Q is uh, affine type N. Then MC is uh, modular space of. So if if you from, from Dinkin, if you replace Dink from Dinkin diagram to affine Dinkin diagram, you, you go to one dimension up. So instead of monopoles, you get the instant modular space of flamed. <coughs> so this case, a type a n, so you n plus one. Uh, instant over. Multi turbinate space. Uh, so this is uh, so this, the, the space as a complex and a complex symplectic variety. This is the same as XR, but XR plus uh, some, some non flat so tau met not metric is some non flat metric on this space. Non flat hyperkähler. So the, the notion of instant depends on the choice of Riemannian metric. So in particular, Taubonato metric and Euclidean metric have different uh, asymptotic behavior because of this modular space is different. <coughs> and this R, R is in this case just dimension, the sum, total sum of dimension. And there's some, some discrete data so this has discrete data. Are determined by dimensions. Basically, these are chunk classes and some data for the framing at the end. <coughs> Frame to UN, so this is unitary. UN plus. So this is maximal compact um, subgroup in GLN plus. So it is conjecture that this same is true for any affine thinking there. U n plus h one into g of q, and it's co compact, maximal. <coughs> so uh, I I don't. I don't explain uh, the, how the proof, I mean, I, I, I will just briefly mention how proof goes. 
and why uh, we have difficulty to generate this result affine from affine type eight other types. <coughs> so strategy of proof. Uh, so we have MC and uh, T cross T check them W and we have T W. <coughs> so first step first step is so ask physicist uh, what should be candidate of MC. So we don't have any good methods to know what should be a candidate. I mean, sometimes it, it, we, we could, but not, not. Our, our, our technology is very much limited. So for example, Amiha is a good friend. <coughs> then, uh, so you check for this candidate, uh, construct, so this second, construct, uh, this integrable system. <clears throat> then, uh, next, and un under study fibers. So first of all, you need to check that uh, generic fiber is this uh, algebraic torus. So then, uh, so you construct, define birational isomorphism uh, compatible with this one. Uh, MC and MC candidate uh, compatible with this diagram. <coughs> and the uh, fourth step is the most difficult one. So show MC candidate is normal and this MC candidate, maybe I did not say that this candidate. So this, this integral system have same dimension, MC. So this is flat, flat in the sense of algebraic geometry. So this is most difficult, difficult and delicate. And the fifth, and if, so this, candid, if, if, this candidate space is something which has been studied already, then uh, this kind of result might, might, I mean, if this is an important space in geometric representation theory, then this kind of statement has some significance and people already know it uh, in some cases. So fifth uh, is show that this, Phi extends uh, across. Uh, so maybe I didn't say so. So you imagine that so this T has uh, chamber structure, and in general, because of the uh, because we not only the group, we, we, we also add the representation. So chamber structure depends on, depend, depending on, on uh, G, 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 and also representation. So this root hyperplane is not necessarily root hyperplane. In some cases, you have more uh, hyperplanes. And this, for, for here, that the fiber, so this. So fiber over here is torus. 
then uh, you show that uh, across the su su such kind of point. So namely, the point which lies in single hyperplane, not the intersection of hyperplane. Sim across co-dimension. Co-dimension two locus. I don't know what is right English or not, but so anyways, I, I explained. So this, it across this. But by the application of the localization theorem, so this, 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 this is basically uh, enough to understand Coulomb branch for for uh, rank one groups. Semi simple rank, uh, rank one group. Rank one plus Abel, times Abel. <coughs> so, like SL2 or P PGL2. So, in that case, you just compute Coulomb branch in some way. And so, we know that what is, how uh, MC behaves. In this this kind of locus, and also we know that uh, in this this example we study the, the what happens if you consider the fiber over here. That is the kind of study. Then uh, this implies so this is a power of algebraic geometry. So by combining this normality, this, then uh, phi extends everywhere. So this is the, the strategy. <coughs> so for all the, 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 the state, I, I stated the theorem and all the uh, results are ex, uh, checked in this manner. So somehow we really need to know that the, what the candidate and we, we really know to, uh, uh, to show that this step. And so we have already candidate for this case, but we don't know the normality and flatness. That is a problem for us. Ah, the, uh, for, we can generalize, but we need to slightly generalize the definition. So that is another story, so I don't explain. Why do you know that MC is Ah, let's see. That is also a consequence of the... Uh, I think basically, yeah. So I studied the equivalent homology of the of R, and uh, so I have this decomposition into stratum, which I mentioned in the when uh, when I mentioned the monopole formula, and there is no odd homology group. Uh, so in particular, it, you also show that this is free of a equivalent homology point. So this is something like that, this kind of argument. <coughs> Okay, uh, in the remaining minutes. Uh, ah, by the way, so one interest, I, I have one interesting remark. So I said that uh, th this is uh, <coughs> uh, for the affine, affine, affine type A, affine type A, uh, MC is uh, instant homogenized space on multi tab nut. Uh, and this is XR plus some metric, hyperkeyer metric, which is not Euclidean. But it is also known that this is instant homogenized space. on XR, which is C2 divided by ZR. Uh, this is not necessarily true, but when some dominance condition is satisfied, this is called the condition dimension V, I minus one plus dimension. <coughs> 
So in particular, uh, you compute the character. So we have C star, and in this case, T to be R plus 1, Y n plus 1, N plus 1. <coughs> yeah, so you have, so th this is coming from pi, pi 1, of point, point in the other one. So this is given by monopole formula. So the character of the instant modular space is given by monopole formula. But it is also known that this is necklace of partition function, k theoretic necklace of partition function. So monopole formula is some combinatory formula which is sum over dominant coweights. But for, for each vertex, I have general ring, so, so it is a bunch of coweights. And the case, case theoretic necklace of partition function has also combinatory formula, which is but sum over tuple of Young diagrams. But these formulas are completely different. So this is some, some uh, what do you say, uh, finite sum for if you fix the, the space. And this is infinite sum. And this is positive sum. And this is positive and negative sum. Somehow, the, 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 the flavor of the formula is very, very different. But somehow, by miraculous reason, so these, these two, two formulas are the same. So I don't know any combinatory proof of this statement, but somehow through identification of the Coulomb branch, I observe this. <coughs> I'm not sure how to understand uh, uh, what happens when I put matters. So here you can put the matters, but I don't know how to put the matters in here. Maybe I need to consider different space. <coughs> OK, then remaining five minutes, I will mention uh, symplectic duality. So as I said, then the symplectic duality is rapidly growing, so I don't, I cannot say much, but somehow I hope, I hope one uh, result which uh, gives you some flavor of symplectic duality. So there is a paper by Brad, Braden, Dikata. And proud of it. And Webster. So they, they are basically interested in the representation theory of quantization. So, but there are some uh, other geomet more geometric statements. So, for another example, is due to Hikita. So, maybe, and there are some others. So, if you search in the keyword symplectic duality, then maybe you find some other example. So one, uh, I assume the following. So suppose MC and MH have symplectic resolution. So I denote MCH. So I didn't, I didn't mention at all uh, for so for MH, it is somehow well known that if you consider the GIT quotient instead of categorical quotient, you often get symplectic resolution. And for MC, I don't mention at all, but there's some, 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 some standard construction, some construction. <laughs> Similar to a modification. Definition. And this modification it, it, it makes sense, but it, sometimes it is it has only it only gives partial resolution, not full symplectic resolution. But here I assume MC and MH have both have symplectic. And this is true for Kiba Gaze. Oh yeah. Of affine type A. 
But if you go to the type D or the E, finite case, then this is not true in general. So this is some assumption. Then, uh, so conjecture, uh, in symplectic reality says the Euler number of the Higgs branch and the Coulomb branch are the same. So this is a conjecture. <coughs> so let us check simplest case. And for affine type A, you, 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 I, I can compute both sides and they match. So this is true. So I just compute for the simple, simplest case, for the case of Jordan Quiver. E hmm? Euler number. Uh, I don't know. What is your notation for E? Yeah. E, same? Yeah, maybe you, you, you can consider this is similar to the first test for the mirror symmetry, usual mirror symmetry. So you compare the Euler number for X and its mirror. So they are my equal up, equal up to sign and similar. So there are, after that, there are some de more uh, deeper conjectures, and, but this is the first tip. <coughs> so you consider K and R. This one. So then the Higgs branch is what Noah wrote name KR. So this is moduli space of framed uh, mm, torsion free sheets. Rank is equal to R and C2 is equal to K. And MC tilde. So this is just I mentioned. So this is resolution of C K of C2 divided. So by the assumption, so I exclude the, the case. R, R equal to case, case my, in, in that case, the definition of Higgs branch is slightly problem for, for in, the, in this case. Maybe you see this case. So I assume R, R is positive. <coughs> and this is the resolution. And there's a standard one. Here the K of. So you first resolve uh, the simple singularity and take Hilbert scheme. So this is the resolution of symmetric parts of this singular surface. So then you compute the uh, Euler numbers. and. Q to the K. Uh, uh, maybe this side is already Rota mentioned. So this is one minus Q to the N, positive power of N, and you need to compute the Betty I order number of this one. So this is minus R. And you also need to compute uh, this Euler number of this one. But you have the torus action on, on this space. So you just count the number of fixed points. And as I already mentioned, well, when I mentioned the Microsoft partition function, this is the two R2 probing diagrams. And you get the same form. So they are equal. So I stop now. Thank you for attention.